Word Processing with Pages Pages is one of the most widely used word processors on an iPad. Tap on it to open it up. Any document you've written previously will show up on this screen. If you want something new, tap on the plus in the upper left corner. Although there are many templates from which to choose, most people start with blank. Type using the on-screen or Bluetooth keyboards. If you type a word the iPad thinks is wrong, a red line will come underneath. Tap on it once to get a suggested correct spelling. If you believe the suggestion is correct, tap on it one time and the new text appears. If you want to change the appearance of text, tap on it once to select it, then press on the paintbrush in the upper right hand corner. Tap on the word color to change the appearance of the text here as well. You can select many words at once. Tap and drag across all the words you want to work with. You can adjust the selection by tapping and dragging on the bottom blue circle. Again, to change the appearance, tap on the paintbrush and choose the styling you want to use. If you want to add a picture, tap on the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. Select your camera roll and then tap on the picture you want to add. Tap the picture once and then slide on the slider bar to zoom the picture in and out. Tap done to stop the masking tool. Tap on the corner and drag in to resize a picture. Tap in the center of a picture, then hold and drag to move it to another point in the document. To adjust how the picture reacts with the text, tap on the paintbrush, the header arrange, and then the word wrap. As you change the options in the wrap menu, the picture will interact differently with the text you've previously typed. Any text you add subsequently will continue to react in the same way as the text you've previously typed. There may be times where the iPad doesn't know a word that you've typed. If you are 100% sure you are right, you can ignore the red line. To get back to the main screen and see other documents you've written, tap on the word Documents in the upper left hand corner. Tap on the generic word that the iPad gives you to change the name of a file to something that will make sense to you. Tap again in the entry field and type some wording to rename the file. Tap Done in the upper right hand corner to get back to the main screen. To group documents together, tap on one and drag it on top of another, and then let go. The iPad will then ask you to rename that folder so you can categorize all of the documents that are inside of it. Tap anywhere else on the screen to get back to the main menu. To watch this or any of the help videos again, or to make a help desk appointment, go to bhpsnj.org slash iPadStudent.